This is going to be a video about transformers. So I've been making a lot of videos recently about the similarities between the MS systems DMC1 and DMC3-4 and the Newtone NM100 and NM200 intercom systems and how they are essentially the same models with different faceplates attached to them. This video is going to help reinforce that for people. And what we have here are two very similar transformers from two different companies. This is a music and sound transformer. This is a music and sound model TE5C. And this is the transformer that's used in a with a DMC1 or a DMC3-4 radio intercom system. And here we have a Newtone intercom, and this is a Newtone model NA300TA, and this is the transformer that's used with the NM100 and the NM200 intercom master stations. These two transformers are exactly the same. Well, almost exactly the same. There's a little difference, but nothing that's important. The music and sound transformer, the TE5C, it has a date code on it of B06. This transformer would have been manufactured within the first two years of when the DMC series of intercoms first came out. Over here, the new tone, NA300TA, it has a date code of the 14th week of 2010. There was, so there's a four-year difference between these two models. So if we look at the labels on top of the transformers, the Newtone transformer is here on top. It says Bro Newtone LLC, Hartford, Wisconsin. You can see here primary voltage 120 volts, 50 to 60 cycles. The connection wires are black and white. And the secondaries, it has two secondary outputs. Number one is 16.5 volts AC at 39 volt amps and that's for pins number one and two and on the diagram of the pin of the connector here here's pin one and here's pin two the second output is also 16.5 volts ac at 39 volt amps and that's for pins three and five and three is here and five is the upper row in the center and pin number six is the ground if we look at the music and sound transformer it has a primary voltage of 120 50 to 60 hertz black wire white wire so that's the same the secondary first output is 16 volts ac 37 volt amps and that's pins one and two and the second output is 16 volts ac 37 volt amps pins three and five so that's the same and pin six is the ground so the only difference between the two transformers is nominally the Newtone transformer is one half of one volt higher output and it has two additional volt amps for the current rating compared to the music and sound transform. These are not important differences. These are minor differences and I'll show you why I think that's the case between the two. If we look at the two connectors, you can see on the Newtone connector, they're both female connectors. They're both six pin connectors. They're commonly what's referred to as Molex style connectors because that's the company that came up with the design. And the pin orientation is the same. Three on the top row, three on the bottom row, a blank here, a blank there, and two pins on the bottom. And the angles for orientation, the cutoff angles are here at the bottom row and again here on the bottom row with the ridges here in the top and ridges here in the top so they only can be plugged into their sockets in one direction. And if we look at the color coding of the wires, you'll see that we have on the top row blue, red, and yellow. And again, blue, red, and yellow. And on the bottom rows, we have brown in the center and green and brown in the center and green. So the connections are identical. These are essentially exactly the same transformers and they are actually interchangeable. If we look at the actual transformers themselves, you can see they are quite large, beefy transformers. So we're looking at, on each one, we're looking at the primary side with a single output on this side. So we have the black and white 120 volt input wires here and we have the black and white input wires on the music and sound transformer. We have the blue and red output wires on this side as a secondary. We have blue and red wires on this side as a secondary. And then if we sort of tilt it up, the other secondary output is yellow and brown, which corresponds with the label. And if we tip this one up, 
we also have yellow and brown on this side. This transformer has a slightly different mounting arrangement where you can actually slide the bracket and lift it out. And I'll explain to you why that's probably done that way. One of the other differences is or similarities. It's a difference, but it's a similarity. On the music and sound transformer, there's actually a label on the winding cover and it says warning few secondary do not short. And if we remove the plastic cover inside, we can see the primary and secondary side windings. And here soldered on the output on the blue wire, we have a slow blow fuse. Now, the Newtone transformer also has fused outputs. However, the fuses are buried down inside under this blue tape and whatever else is underneath that. And it's not done in such a convenient way to get to the fuse as this was done. And I'm pretty sure this design, which I prefer, was done this way because it would allow a repair shop or someone like myself to easily remove the cover desolder the fuse, replace it with a new one, and then put the cover back in place. That would be the responsible thing to do. We certainly would not bypass a blowing fuse and leave it unfused because it was UL or ETL rated to have a fuse in place, and that's the way we would want to leave it. And if we take it out of its bracket, we have the same warning on this side. And if we remove this cover, which doesn't seem to want to come off as easily, There we go. If we remove the second cover, we have an identical fuse arrangement on this side. So this was designed so that it could be serviced and the fuses could be replaced if for some reason they were to blow. And that's actually a thoughtful and considerate thing to do because replacing a $3 fuse is a lot better than buying a $60 or $70 transformer assembly, which is a lot more expensive and it's wasteful because why throw it away? There's nothing wrong with the actual transformer. On the Newtone designs, the transformer itself is attached to the metal plate with screws so you can remove that. But to get to the fuses, you'll have to cut the blue tape away and then you'll have to dig around down inside. I'm pretty sure the fuse is buried down inside fairly deep, so you have to do more transformer surgery to get to it, but it can be done. It's not that dissimilar to what you have to do when you replace the fuses in Newtone 801T transformers. In fact, in some respects, this might be somewhat simpler and easier to do. Why was this changed? Well, I think it was probably changed because this transformer, according to the can that comes with it, clearly says, made in China. Now this one doesn't have a, a, a country of origin on it anywhere. It's not on the can and it's not on the box anywhere and it's not on the transformer itself. It doesn't say on the label here the country of origin. It does show that the ETL testing laboratory was in Cortland, New York. So whether this transformer was made in the US or whether it was made overseas, I don't really know because it doesn't say, but I have a feeling what probably happened was at some point they found a vendor to make the transformer assemblies and they streamlined the design that's a code talk for get a lower price and they eliminated this bracket and they eliminated these plastic covers and went with a simpler design because it was probably less expensive and even though replacing the fuse is not as readily simple they most likely thought well if the fuses blow the customer will just have to buy a new transformer and that's better for us it's just another indication that these are entirely interchangeable transformers for either the MS Systems DMC series or the Newtone NM series. And oh, the slight difference in voltage output and the slight difference in available current, that would be the difference between 16 and a half volts and 39 VA and 16 volts at 37 VA. It's just simply because this transformer was made by a different company and their specifications and their manufacturing ends up with a transformer that has a half a volt more and it has two extra volt amps. Two extra volt amps and eh, nobody cares. It's not going to make any kind of difference. An extra half a volt. I don't think that would make much of a difference either. You get that kind of variation based on the 110 
anywhere from 110 to 125 input voltage because these types are simple transformers so the absolute output voltage of the transformer has a lot to do with the absolute line voltage that goes into the transformer and in the United States our line voltage can vary anywhere from as low as 109 volts all the way up in some cases up to 128 volts because our power grid is old and tired and the more voltage in the more voltage out the less voltage in the less voltage out so there's a certain amount of tolerance built into designs to handle that and i don't think the extra half a volt makes any difference but it's just another way to demonstrate that for people who don't understand or people who don't want to believe it for whatever reason that MS dmc series and newtone nm series they're the same it's the same equipment, just different cosmetic faceplates. I hope you found this interesting and perhaps helpful. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up on YouTube because that helps us. If you find our videos interesting, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. There'll be a banner right here. Go to our YouTube homepage, click on the bell or on the wheel, put in your email address, and every time we post a new video, you'll get a notification and you can watch it. That's all for today. See you on the next video.